Hey guys, so in one of my last videos, somebody asked me if I could do like a Q&A. And I kind of realized that I don't have a lot of videos just kind of talking to the camera. I'm always like doing something. So I feel like if you're subscribing, you should kind of know what you're getting yourself into. You know what I'm saying? So today I decided that I was going to bake some brownies while answering some questions that I found online. So you kind of can get to know me. That's what we're having for dinner. Meatloaf. <laughs> I'm gonna have my sister here. Hey guys. Ask me the questions. I've never made brownies before. I'm 18 years old. Yes, I don't look like it. I'm not very experienced in the kitchen. You can't help me. The you know. directions are on the box. I know, I know, but I have a tendency <laughs> to screw things up. <gasps> no! What? I just deleted every single question I had. How can I undo it? Okay. Well, we're gonna be back when I get these questions. Okay, so it's literally gotten darker. We've been down here for like an hour. Yeah, let's start making brownies. So the first step, put your hair up. I'm doing like easier brownie thing because I don't think I'm very good at baking. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Michigan. I have a hard time multitasking. I grew up in Michigan, but my freshman year of high school, we moved to Florida, and I've been here ever since. What is your nickname? You have a lot. I have a lot of nicknames, but I'm only gonna tell you my favorite ones. My favorite one is probably V, because it's just like simple, and I, it makes me sound cool, and I'm not really that cool. That's probably like my favorite, or Vic. How old are you? I am 18 years old. I think we've said it about 15 times. <laughs> I know, I'm 18, guys. When is your birthday? February 18th. Do you sing in the shower? Yes, I do. If I you know, don't... I can hear you singing. Okay. How tall are you? I am, I think, 5'3", five, 5'3 three, five, three and a half. You're not 5'3". I three. swear to you, grab the measuring thing. Victoria, you're taller than 5'3". If I'm almost 5'3". I might be 5'4". I don't know my height. I don't know why I put that in there. What is your most unusual talent? Some may not count this as a talent, but I think it's pretty cool. Okay, ready? Are you ready? <laughs> I can make my tongue, like, stay cut in half. Uh, that, I don't think that explains it. I can do that. Anyone can do that. <laughs> a lot of people can't is what I found out. You're not doing it. That's not a talent. That's going to be my talent because I'm not really good at anything else. Uh, Why is this so long? I don't think that's what we use. Are you going to college slash have you graduated? Um, I am going to college. I'm going far away for college. You're going to leave us. Yeah, I'm going to leave them. They're going to be lost without me. Yeah, you and your skills. Do you have any allergies? Um, <laughs> so, for my whole life, I thought I did not have any allergies. I was like, man, I'm really set. I can eat anything. I don't ever have to be worried. But then I went to the doctor, like, two months ago, and he told me I have a slight allergy to zucchini. So, <laughs> darn, can't eat zucchini anymore. Do you have any siblings? I have two siblings. Two sisters, actually. What female celebrity do you wish was your sister? Oh! Um, Ariana Grande, <laughs> hands down. If you had to change your name, what would it be? I really am bad with names. I feel like I would have to stay with a V name, like Veronica. I don't know. What is your biggest fear? Birds. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to talk about it. <laughs> Next. I forgot to preheat. I think that's what we do. Okay, Cat. next question. Cats or dogs? What is your most embarrassing moment? I have so many, but literally, oh, this was so embarrassing. Two days ago, <laughs> I was hanging out with my friends and I had some extra time like after, so I was like, gonna go home and take a nap. And I was like, you know what? I could get gas, you know, fill up. So I go to get some gas. And I always bring my entire lanyard with my keys and my cards in it. But this time I was like, my lanyard always falls off my arm and I'm like, I just don't want to bug with it. So I grabbed my card to pay, but I left my keys and everything, my phone, everything in the car. I really had this weird feeling when I was sitting in my car and I was like, something weird's gonna happen. I'm gonna lock my car door so nobody can, you know, take my stuff. I'm paying for my gas and I realized I shut my door with my keys in it and I locked it from the inside. I have never felt more stupid. My mom and my sister were like an hour away from me and I was locked out of my car and Andrea was home but she can't drive. So I was like, <laughs> what do I do? And then literally the next day I popped a tire because apparently there was a pothole in the road that was new 
and I just didn't see it. I'm a good driver, I promise. Oh, shout out to Josiah, my cousin. He rescued me. Funniest place you've ever fallen asleep. I like to sleep on the floor sometimes. My friends think it's weird. One time I fell asleep at a car dealership. They were taking so long. Would you rather be married to a 10 with a bad personality or a six with an amazing personality? I think a six with an amazing personality and I'm not just saying that because it sounds good. A six really isn't even that bad though. A six is not bad and I feel like personality can sometimes make a guy so much more attractive. Biggest pet peeve. Okay, this is weird, but nose whistling. You know like, <laughs> first breathing really loud is a pet peeve, but also it's so much worse when it's like whistling. The, like It's just arranged perfectly enough to make a sound when they're breathing and they don't notice it. I hate it. It drives me insane. They were taking a self-defense class. <laughs> <laughs> I have in fifth grade. I don't remember much, but I just wanted to, you know. Don't mess with me. This really was not that hard. I don't know why I was so scared to make these. What's the funniest thing you've seen a kid do? <laughs> <laughs> when we were little, in the summertime, we would always swim at our community pool. A lot of parents would like change their kid just like there when they were leaving. And there was this one kid who like took off his pants and ran into the water and I was so little. And his mom just kept being like, so that was the first time I saw the okay. other genders. <laughs> okay. What kind of books do you like to read? I'm not a big reader, but the books that I do like to read are like self-improvement books. Because I feel like you can never stop working on yourself. And I, I feel like there's a lot of areas that I would like to improve. Well, like months ago. I'm just filming a video here. <laughs> I think it's good. Describe your first crush. Okay, I'm not gonna put his name because he follows me on Instagram. I, okay. This wasn't even a crush. Like, I literally think I was in love with this kid because it was from kindergarten through first grade I liked this kid. He was the most athletic. He had brown hair. He was the tallest. He could run fast. Like, I was head over heels. He didn't give me the time of day, so. You were ugly. I was ugly. This was in third grade. That was in fifth grade. And you could jump into a pool full of something, what would it be? Okay, so I've thought about this a lot. Orbeez. That would just be so fun. It's kind of like jello, but in balls. But you can't eat them. Don't eat them, please. Have you ever failed at anything? And what did you learn? I kind of wanted to put this more serious question in here because I think that a lot of times we can learn from failure. I feel like failure is always looked at as a bad thing. And yes, it sucks to fail at something. But when I was in 10th grade, I had the opportunity to take my first AP class. It's basically like a college level class. And if you pass the exam at the end of the year, then you can get college credits. I took the class and I really, really struggled, but I did try so hard in that class. The final exam day came and I knew I failed. But I feel like I could look at this failure and be like, wow, I'm such a failure. I'll never take another AP class. Or I could look at what I learned. I decided to look at like what I learned throughout the year. And honestly, that class made me a better student. It taught me a lot more about like how I need to study, the amount of attention I need to give to like my schoolwork. Basically, I just wanted to say like, I have failed at something, but I learned so much from that class. So honestly, I look at it as a success. What's the most useless product around today? A toothbrush. <laughs> That's so gross. I don't think that this is This is definitely gonna take longer because it wasn't heating up, so. I'm gonna set a timer on my phone and then we're gonna check the brownies. So while the brownies are baking, I am going to answer some more questions. What is one thing you'd rather pay someone to do than do yourself? and why take my car to the car wash i don't know why i absolutely hate doing it like it stresses me out they're all like yelling things and then i have to make sure that my car is like on the thing it's weird i know who was your first celebrity crush diego if you could breed two animals together to defy the laws of nature what new animal would you create i've actually put a lot of thought into this question a monkey dolphin so it'd be like a monkey but in the water and it would look a little different I put my two favorite animals together and that's what it is, so. <laughs> Can you close your eyes and raise your eyebrows? I think. Can you do a split? Why don't you show us your split? Can you whistle? 
If you had a superpower, what would it be? I have thought about this one for so long. I have the best superpower. My superpower would be to freeze time. Hear me out. So I run track, like I said before. I could start the race, freeze time, get to the front, then I could beat everyone. I could be the fastest person in the world. Also, if you have a lot to do, but you really wanna take a nap, you could freeze time, take your nap, unfreeze time, get back to what you were doing. If you are running late to work, school, whatever you're running late to, freeze time beat the traffic you can't beat it if you were about to witness a robbery freeze the time go over there and save the person i really think that is the best superpower what isn't real but you desperately wish it was my boyfriend no i'm kidding i love being single anyways that was my last question honey's will be done in a while so i'll check back in with you thank you so much for watching this video it really does mean a lot i hope that you learned a little bit about me so you kind of know what you're getting yourself into if you do subscribe by the way that reminds me please subscribe be my friend um <laughs> see you later bye